A new U.S. intelligence assessment has revealed that since Ukraine began receiving ATA CMS missiles, Russia has adapted by relocating 90% of its aircraft to military bases outside the missile's range. An unnamed U.S. official said this to the Wall Street Journal. The article stated that the Biden administration has no plans to change its position despite Ukraine's intensified calls for the U.S to lift the ban on using ATA CMS against targets in Russia and amid the largest attack this week since the beginning of the full-scale invasion. The official mentioned that launching ATA CMS on Russian territory would have minimal impact at this point, adding that Ukraine is likely to achieve more success with the locally produced drones it has used to strike targets in Russia in recent months. The official said although the U.S. has ramped up ATA CMS production, supplies remain limited and the Pentagon has only a restricted amount available to provide to Ukraine. But according to the Institute for the Study of War, ISW, hundreds of known Russian military and paramilitary objects in Russia are in range of Ukrainian ATA CMS. It is noted that the relocation of Russian combat aircraft from airfields within the range of ATA CMS does not reduce the significance of Ukraine's request to the United States for long-range American weapons to target Russian territory. The ISW highlights a Politico publication where anonymous senior U.S. officials suggested that the relocation of Russian combat aircraft from airfields within the ATA CMS range somehow reduces the justification or importance of Ukraine's request. Reports indicate that Russian forces have allegedly moved 90% of their aircraft equipped with glide bombs further from airfields within the range of Storm Shadow and ATA CMS missiles. According to the ISW, 16 Russian air bases are within the range of Ukrainian ATA CMS and the Institute has confirmed the relocation of Russian aircraft. However, ISW analysts emphasize that this relocation does not diminish the importance of allowing Ukraine to use ATA CMS against the hundreds of other Russian military sites. The maximum range of Ukrainian HIMARS, which the US permits Ukraine to use in Russia under restrictions, covers 20 such sites. At least 225 known sites are within the range of ATA CMS, but not HIMARS. At least 209 of the 245 known Russian military sites within the ATA CMS range are not air bases. Ukraine is preparing to use Western supplied F 16 fighters against Russia. This was stated by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in his evening video address on August 26. Today I started the day with a separate long conversation with the Commander-in-Chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces Oleksandr Swyrsky, both on repelling this missile attack in detail, and on our response to Russia, we are preparing, and on the use of F-16s, and on the operation in the Kursk region, we are continuing our actions in certain areas exactly as Ukraine needs. Over the past 24 hours, we have expanded our zone of control, there is another replenishment of the exchange fund. According to Zelensky, the situation on other fronts was also discussed, including the Pokrovsk direction, where the Russian army is slowly advancing and heavy fighting is underway. In addition, the Ukrainian leader reported on several important decisions to protect Ukraine's energy facilities from Russian strikes, but did not provide details. The F-16s will likely have two main roles, experts said, one defensive and one offensive. Air defense is really, really important, Peter Layton, former Royal Australian Air Force officer and associate fellow at RUSI, told. Looking at the big picture, the Ukrainian National Air Defense commanders might try to use the short-range guns, like the Jeopard, to kill the Shahids, use the F-16s to kill the cruise missiles, the older SAMs to kill the ballistic missiles, and the Patriots to kill the Kinsholes. In an offensive role, Leighton said F-16s could be used to replicate one of Russia's more successful military innovations used during the full-scale invasion, glide bombs. Glide bombs are standard airdropped bombs modified with fins and GPS guidance systems in order to be launched at a target from a distance rather directly overhead. They're far from a new technology, dating back to World War II, minus the GPS, 
and being used in conflicts including Vietnam, Iraq, and Afghanistan. As a result, Leighton says to expect Ukrainian forces to start deploying their own versions of the large glide bombs.